Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Jones and I am a research associate for the Blue Marble Young Scientist program who worked under Dr. William Brazelton this summer. Today I'll be talking about the environmental influence on the genomes of the Lost City microorganisms. Just for a little bit of background information, the Lost City is a hydrothermal vent field that is home to various extremophiles such as methanogens and sulfur reducers. The Lost City itself is located along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, specifically at a site called the Atlantis Massif. The chimneys themselves are made primarily from calcium carbonate and are continuously venting a fluid between 20 and 90 degrees Celsius with a relatively high pH of 9 to 11. The system itself is not volcanic and is instead being driven by a geochemical reaction known as serpentinization. For my project, I wanted to understand how the environment of the Lost City is influencing the genomes of the microorganisms found there. The Lost City is a reducing environment and that means that these microorganisms have had to metabolically make the most of the molecules that are available to them. Now I chose to look into oxidation state of proteins because they are really great for representing how the environment is directly influencing present genomes. All data that I used during this project was gathered by the Brazelton lab in their 2018 expedition to the lost city itself, where they directly sampled fluids coming from the vents. Now I will be talking about the relationship between oxidation state of proteins and the relative abundance of specific organisms. Here I am showing my results, and it was hypothesized that organisms with the lowest ZC would have the highest relative abundance due to environmental pressures. It is important to note that ZC is representative of how many amino acids, how many reduced amino acids are present in a given taxa. The taxa can be seen here on the right with ZC on the x-axis and relative abundance on the y-axis. Um, we were hoping to see a clean trend where organisms with the lowest ZC scores would be the most abundant. However, the only taxa to be demonstrating this very clearly is going to be the point at the very top here, uh, the LCMS taxa. Now it is supporting the idea that organisms with the lowest ZC score would be relatively abundant. However, it is also important to note that the low abundance of organisms with higher ZC values is also supporting our original hypothesis. It is additionally important to note that there are other taxonomic and biological constraints that have an effect on this behavior seen, and there would be additional research needed to be conducted in order to determine just how much of an impact this is having on the trend that we're seeing here. 